Hello. Uh, so now we have arrived at our third week, and this is actually the final assignment that we will be doing with uh, doing in pencil. After this, we move on to using the brush, the squirrel hair brush. And before that, we have to oh, we have to tackle one more important aspect of Indian painting, and that is the portrait. Arguably one of the, if not the dominant theme in all Indian painting is the portrait. You will notice in most examples, the portrait is always in profile. The strict profile is something which is really valued in uh, local Indian traditions. The three-fourth profile was introduced through Central Asian and Persian influences and became part of the Indian painting language as well. And we have some examples of the three-fourth profile in this exhibition as well. But the strict profile dominates across the centuries. But this particular assignment is slightly different from that historical practice. And this is something that I also was taught when I was learning miniature painting back in Pakistan, in Lahore at the National College of Arts. It used to be at that time the only place in the whole world that actually gave you a degree, a BFA degree in miniature painting. And a lot of the practices were modified to adapt to our times as well. And one of them was the portrait. And it was a wonderful entry into understanding once again the how to render in detail, how to minutely observe the eyebrows and the jawline and the eyes and the detail in the pupil of the eyes and each and every detail of the hair. We learned how to do that working on this particular assignment. So this assignment involves making a portrait along around the same size window that we used for our last week's flower study. We will use the same size. But in this case, we will use a self-portrait. So the assignment requires everyone to, to take a photograph, or maybe you already have a photograph, but a front-on photograph, and compose that within the either a 2 by 4 or a small 2 by 2 window space. And you will see that in the demonstration, what sort of window I'm talking about. And I've also shared a photograph of myself so that you can have an idea of how small and what sort of photograph it should be. Ideally, it should be a front-on uh, image, not taken from up or down with equal light so that you can see all the details. You can be making an expression, you can be smiling, you could be stern. That is entirely up to you. But the idea is to notice all the details in your own face and how do you want to represent that using the language of Indian drawing. So to give you a good idea of what we have in mind for this assignment, think about a passport size photograph. That's the, the size of the face that we are thinking of. Historically, you have all sorts of portraits in Indian painting. You have bust portraits, you have full length portraits. That's the most, more common one. But even in these full length portraits, for example, the one that I'm standing in front of, you will notice in the details that although it's a full figure portrait, all the skill and detailing that the artist has shown, all of that focuses on the face. The way the beard has been rendered, the way the eye has been rendered and his ferocious uh, expression, all of those details are really focused in on this particular on the face of the person. And so that's what we will learn. We won't focus right now on the entire body. We will just focus on the head and the shoulders, exactly the way we have a passport size photograph. And uh, this will be around a two week assignment because then we will also try to look at the windows. That's another aspect that you notice in Indian miniature painting. If we look around in this exhibition itself, we see that every painting or drawing almost has been placed within a window. Apart from the prep drawings or apart from the studies, all the complete drawings have windows within windows. And that's a very typical way of 
viewing an artwork because most of these artworks were part of books, particularly like albums or loose folios that were narrating a particular story. So the best way to visualize and compose them was within Windows. So that's something that's, that also we will learn in this assignment to how to compose our own a self-portrait within a small window.
Thank you.